first thing you want to do is take a moisturizer and yeah I'm not gonna do be doing voiceover but yeah um first thing take a moisturizer and I'm just using my Sephora flawless moisturizing lotion now for your acne Whenever I have acne like this, actually I never get acne like this really, it's underneath and I try to pop it and it wouldn't. So, I know I have a little tiny of yellow, but anyways, whenever I get um, really bad acne like this or something, do not use solid concealer on that. What I mean is, don't use solid concealer like this. This is Time Bomb by The Bomb, amazing concealer, looks like this, but it's solid. Um, I like to use liquid because it helps... Um, it doesn't dry out my skin as much, so I'm just taking this Dior one. It's long wearing moisturizing concealer because this is like the only one that actually kind of fits my skin tone. And then also, it's really good at covering up. So, you just pretty much need a little, so I'm just gonna take some there, distribute it throughout my acne. Cause you only need really a little amount, but then right here I have a big old piece. Now I'm gonna take my Sony Kashuk brush and just kind of blend that in. It's a stippling brush. I don't think they even call it a stippling brush. They call it something else, but I'm taking it. Now I'm gonna take my All May concealer and I'm actually gonna put it around the acne just to reduce some redness. Cause there's lots of redness around that acne. I pat it in with my stippling brush and stipple it pretty much actually see and then now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD foundation which is really good at covering and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and now I'm going to actually take my uh, CVS foundation brush and just put it on and I'm blending it also in with this and I recommend getting a big foundation brush for blending in because, like, I had the Sony Kashuk one did not work out well because it's small. And it's a lot easier to blend it in with a bigger one if you're going to blend it in with a foundation brush. Careful not to get all over my acne and pretty much just go around it. Well, the pimple. It's not really acne's all over my face, but, yeah. And then I'm going to blend it in with my hairline a little just by blending it in. Because my hairline is darker than the rest of my face. And it picks up more on camera. Um, so it might look really weird on camera. But it doesn't look like that in real life. I don't know why. Blend down my neck. I'm going to take my Maybelline New York Mineral Powder Finishing Bell Powder. Never do this really. I like layer a foundation plus a covering powder on my face. But I'm doing this with my um, acne that's there. Because it will cover it more. So... You know, you need that. Just put it on all of your face. And then I'm also using my um, flat powder brush. It's just called Powder Brush from e.l.f. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay um, highlighter and wick it. And I just dab it on my finger because this is super shiny. I'm just blending it with another finger. I'm going to take my Eros Lip Balm and Sweeten It. Moisturize those lips, girl. Now I take my um, Urban Decay Brine Potion and Sin. It's pretty much just a shimmery color. It's perfect for like natural, pretty much bases. So you could do color if you want, but I like natural. And I'm going to take my um, Maybelline New York Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. And I'm just going to get some on my finger and put this all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take my Naked One palette from Urban Decay. I'm just going to take my um, Chanel eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take Naked, which is like a light brown color. Tap off the excess, and then just put it all over my lid. And this is also a matte color, if you guys are wondering, too. Now I'm going to take my Elf C eyeshadow brush, which is like a little short um, eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take Half Baked, which is a gold color, which is right there. It's like pure gold, pretty much. I'm just going to put that on the outside. Then I'm just going to take a crease brush, blending brush. I use a, a crease brush as my blending brush. Just blend that in. Big Naked 2. 
Bam, bam. Naked 2, and I'm going to take Foxy, and I'm going to use it as a highlight, and it's pretty much just a matte, light skin color for me. For some people, it might be their actual skin color, but for me, it's a light one. I stopped the video. Anyways, um, I set, um, I don't even know what's happening. I say I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyelash color, but don't use it. I recommend really don't use it, because it actually... Maybe not this time, maybe it was the other one, I don't even know. But it chopped off my eyelashes, like you could see right there. They're a lot shorter than my other eyes. And then right here, you can't really tell, but these are a lot shorter than um, my middle lashes. They literally chopped off my lashes. Don't recommend this um, eyelash color at all. I usually use another one. And this has happened to me before it. They've grown back. Usually eyelashes are not supposed to grow back. Mine grow back for some reason. This has happened to me before, but I do not recommend this eyelash curler. Maybe it's because I curl it too hard or something, but I hate it. With that being said, don't use it. So I'm just going to take my e.l.f. eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. Sorry, I have to like do this in front of me. I can't find my um, great lash cushions for my mascara. If you guys watch my videos frequently, God, my eyes are crying pretty much. If you guys watch my, like, tutorials, you know I always wear that pretty much. That's, like, my mascara I use to prep. But I can't find it, so I am going to take a colored mascara. There's a blue one from Dior that I have. It's 264. It's like a cobalt blue. And then there's a Great Lash Maybelline um, one, and this is a limited edition. It's called Pop of Purple. And it just looks like this. And I'm actually going to use the purple one because it enhances brown eyes more. I don't know if you guys can see it with the camera. The camera doesn't really pick it up. But it is perfect. And then I'm just going to take my um, flat powder brush again. Just contour. Contour the heck out of it. I don't know why I look so freaking pale and like Asian tinted and yellow tinted right now because I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, God, you look tan. And then I look on here, I'm like, whoa, you look weird. Um, so yeah. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush in tickled pink and I'm just going to take a powder brush. I don't really have a blush brush. And it's just a CVS one, a powder brush. I don't recommend it at all. It sheds like crazy. But I still use it. Take my Pink Me Up 045. From Maybelline, and it's like a fall time pink, I like to call it. Just put that on my lips. And to finish it off, take a fall pink lip gloss. I'm just taking Naked from Urban Decay. We'll get one that matches pretty much the lipstick you did. This one's a little bit neuter. But it's just a little tint. Plus, this is a lot smaller than my lips. So, it's kind of hard to put on, which means a less color. Talk to you guys later. If you have any beauty video requests, please in the comments below and tan. And I like it in the mirror, not in the video. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm going to school tomorrow because I look freaking good. And I just improvised all that. God, so cool. Okay, bye.